So you're still here at the NVIDIA Tegra booth uh, where you're showing all these amazing uh, embedded uh, Super 3D and Super HD and all these things. So what are you going to do now? So we're clicking on a site based on um, uh, Microsoft's MSN and we're playing a streaming HD trailer live off the web. It's the first nobody's ever seen ARM been able to pull down and stream a video directly off the web, msn.com. This is a 720p video clip. So there you, you can actually uh, watch the video in 720p full screen. Super smooth. Streaming from the internet. Streaming right off the internet. So you click, it was an ASX file that linked to a WMV or something like that, and it just says 720 It pulls down the container and we're decoding the VC1 advanced profile content and playing it directly on the device. And outputting HDMI if you want? We can output HDMI, it's on a display right over there. So you can actually stream the whole internet in HD? Yes. And uh, all codecs? H.264 and BC1AP are primarily the bulk of the contents that's all being done in high definition. And that's exactly what our hardware provides acceleration for. Not the MPEG-4? But the MPEG-4 we do up to 720p, but the bulk of the content coming off the web that's in high definition is an MPEG-4 because it doesn't have the same compression quality that you get from H.264 and BC1. Alright, so you do MPEG-4, H.264 uh, and BC1 is 1080p or 720p? 1080p for our high-end part. 720p for the mid-range part. Mid-range, what do you mean mid-range part? So there's a Tegra 600 and a Tegra 650. Okay. 650 does 1080p, 600 does 720p. Does it uh, use different amount of power? It's uh, just a different binning of the die, so the chip runs at different speeds and is able to do different yeah. capabilities. Same as our GPUs, we have yeah. high-end GPUs and mid-range GPUs. So the one that does 1080p might use more battery power? It will consume a little more power to decode um, yeah. 1080p. So if you do 720p, it's about 350 milliwatts. If you do 1080p, you're looking at more like 450 milliwatts. So if you do 720p, it's not going to use more than the 720p chip. It's going to do the same as the 720p chip. Yeah, if you do, it's the exact yeah. same as the yeah. 720p chip. It's, not it's only the chip is more capable yeah. because it can run a higher frequency. So there's no bloat whatsoever in, in yeah. NVIDIA. It's just yeah. exactly using what it needs. We, we only turn on the blocks and hardware that we need to perform the use case required and blocks that aren't in use are actually stayed off. Cool. Could, could we try and click on some flash here? Yeah, sure. Do you want to show a little bit just a... Uh... Well, we can do, why don't we try from this unit yeah. here, because I've got Wi-Fi running here. Yeah. So, so um, what, what would you uh, suggest to check out in Flash? The Sony single house. So Flash Earth is a um, navigation site very similar to um, Google Earth and this um, unit will actually load up Flash, streaming it directly off the web. You can try the exact same thing on a PC if you want. And what we'll be able to do is we'll go and I'll zoom in on, let's choose Taipei, since we're in Taiwan. So right now this is running over Wi-Fi, streaming everything off the network here. And there's hundreds of people using the Wi-Fi at the same time. There's lots of people using Wi-Fi here. Yeah. So we'll go over to the island of Taiwan. Oops, there you are. Nice. Off fire. So uh, how about, uh, do you know if Google Chrome will work on this? Google Chrome? Is there any like uh, secret about that? Or? There's no secret to Google Chrome. Here we go. We'll zoom in. Yeah. Because right now it's Firefox. This is Firefox, and we actually chose Firefox because it's the most compatible desktop browser. Um, so from this perspective, we're able to do things with this browser. This version is Firefox 3.5, which goes release on the desktop in July and is shipping in production on our unit in August. So basically, we're using the same thing on the desktop that everybody would use on an x 6 based system, but we're using it on our network. How many tabs can you open then without it being slow? Yeah, so there's actually a limit to the number of tabs you'll be able to open based on the amount of memory in the system. So these units ship with 512 megabytes of memory. You'll probably have about three to four tabs open at most. Obviously, on a desktop PC where you're putting in two gigabytes of memory and it's swapping everything out to hard drive, you can put a lot more there. But this is not intended to be a PC. This is intended to be a all-day, instant-on, you know, okay. microwave of the internet, so to speak. Okay. Is there like a more RAM versions per possible? For this, we're focusing on 512 megabyte to keep the cost down. Yeah. So these systems are all under $200. In the case of this unit, it'll be around $150 for yeah. this Mobinova platform. 
which makes it so easy. You can just purchase and give them out to your yeah. kids, give them out to, you know, as presents. They're really, really cheap. But is the amount of RAM is something NVIDIA kind of decides or can the manufacturer say, hey, I want to have two gigabytes? And I can yeah, just... so we have some customers that are trying to design with less memory, like maybe 256 megabytes. Yeah. We have higher end products, which are not announced, that run up to a gigabyte of memory. It okay. really depends on the platform and what they're trying to do with the product. So the, guy, the, the company that does one gig might have more tabs, for example. The company that does one gig might do more tabs. They might be doing more with their user interface or trying to run a more sophisticated operating system. Once they're trying to build a much more um, budget-friendly yeah. system, we'll put in less yeah. memory. And what, what would be your hope with uh, Google Chrome or, uh, I mean, uh, Android? and Google stuff going on on these laptops. So the, some official I think the great thing for us is that we run both Android and we run Microsoft's OS and we give the end consumer and our customers the ability to choose whichever is most suited for the market that they're going after. Cool. So in some cases CE is a much better platform yeah. the same token we're working with Google on Android to be able to put the hardware optimizations in place to get great acceleration on their platform as well. Awesome. So uh, you, could you actually offer a dual boot to end, end users? Actually, so we have a, a platform over here yeah. that can do dual boot and yeah. that's actually one of the things our customers are really interested in is that they can configure a system to have yeah. both. The yeah. only thing you need is to put more um, mass storage device in the platform so you can store the operating system data for both. But you yeah. could obviously, you know, if you saved a video in CE, you could then play the video back in Android. Because the, the operating system is like Windows C and Android, they're not very big, right? They're kind of small, no? No, they're not really big, but when you add in things like the browser and UI and some other contents, they start to get up into the maybe 100 megabyte range in terms of footprint. Okay. Once you add user content, obviously you need gigabytes of data. Yeah. And so for an embedded system, you would want to have something like maybe um, 256 or 512 um, megabytes of um, NAND slash to be able to store the operating system if you wanted to do dual boot for, say, Android and um, Windows C. C. And Windows 7, if they do it for ARM at some point. Windows 7, when Microsoft does it on ARM, yeah. yes. And how about um, uh, ARM Cortex? Yep. Is there any official word by NVIDIA when it's going to be? In, is that the, the, the job of the manufacturers to do something about yeah, that? Yeah, so or? we have no official announcement okay. with respect to any products we do or don't have in use in Cortex. But I think the key thing for NVIDIA is that it's not simply just about the processor. It's about the entire solution. And so in the case of our products here, we have multiple processing units in the chip, not just a CPU, but the GPU, which is used for flash acceleration and for the web page acceleration. We also use um, video decoding engines to do acceleration for video playback, whether that's YouTube or streaming HD. So if you throw everything simply at a CPU, you're not going to have a good experience, and that's exactly what we witnessed today with Intel Atom and some of our competitors' platforms like the Qualcomm Snapdragon or Freescale or yeah. GI. Are you actually say, did you just say that the GPU is accelerating web browsing? Yeah, so the GPU in the case of Firefox here is actually being used to render the web page as well the GPU is used to be able to do all of the flash rendering that's happening here. So this flash rendering is fast because it's happening in hardware on the GPU. And as well, the video is all being done hardware accelerated, and that's the reason why we not only get low power, but we get the performance we're getting. So you're also accelerating Ajax applications in the browser? Sorry, like all the JavaScript stuff? We're not accelerating JavaScript. That's all yeah. best done on a CPU. It's general purpose activity. Yeah. But whenever you're rendering pixels on the display or decoding something that lends itself well to hardware, such as video or, yeah. or rendering, we do that with different acceleration engines in the hardware. So if you load big websites, it's going to use the GPU? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I didn't uh, exactly understand what part of the website you load in the GPU, but... It's, so, it's, so when you render fonts, yeah. when you render all of the images that appear, when you actually lay out the page on the display, whenever you scroll or zoom in and out, that's all being done by GPU technology. Cool. Awesome. So shipping, shipping before Christmas? In, uh, yeah, shipping in about October of this year. But it looks like uh, really good right now, so you're not selling it today, no? <laughs> not yeah. selling it today, but no. soon. Our customers will be selling it to carriers and, yeah. and end consumers soon. Because how much work is needed still? Is that secret? I mean, how, uh, do you need to optimize flash video, I guess, a little bit? Or? There's there's some flash optimizations that are happening, and there's obviously some productization that needs to be done to make sure that we iron out all of the different consumer stability requirements yeah. that are needed to ship a product to millions. <laughs> Of people. So they're all uh, kind of, they don't need more than three cells, they're like super light, you don't need six cells, you don't need nine cells, that's just... You only need that sense. if you've got a, you know, very power hungry 35 watt Intel CPU. Okay. Right? With a one watt CPU, under yeah. one watt system here, no problem. No problem. Okay, cool. So uh, thanks for the demo and uh, looking forward to the Android and everything, but that's going to be in the next few press releases, I guess. Like yes, in the for next sure. few months or weeks. And... Keep, cool. Stay tuned, you'll see it all. Cool, thanks.